We begin the newscast with the latest coming on vaccines as South Africa halted the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine for not being effective against COVID-19 mild and moderate cases. A World Health Organization panel has now recommended its use. The WHO panel says that the AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and effective and that it should be deployed widely. They say that the use should include countries where the South African variant of the coronavirus is present as there is no reason to recommend against its use. We have made the uh, recommendation that even if there is a reduction in the possibility of this vaccine having a full impact in its protection capacity, especially against severe disease, there is no reason not to recommend its use even in countries that have the circulation of the variants. Issuing interim recommendations on the shot, the Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization, also known as SAGE panel, said that the vaccine should be given in two doses and that there should be an interval of around 8 to 12 weeks between the first and second dose. And given the evidence that we saw, we realize that extending the evidence between 8 and 12 weeks is the best time really to give a second dose to produce a much better immune response. So our recommendation is to use this 8 to 12 weeks interval as the, the main uh, one for, for the application of this vaccine. In the last few days, nearly a dozen European nations have issued special guidelines for the AstraZeneca vaccine. They claimed that there wasn't data available to administer the jab to their elderly population. And earlier this week, South Africa paused its rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine after data from a small trial showed that it did not protect the individual against mild to moderate illness from the mutant virus strain dominant in the country. The panel said that even though the efficacy might reduce, there is no reason to not use the vaccine as people around the world continue losing their lives to the deadly coronavirus. I think one of the considerations that SAGE is making is the need to stop uh, severe disease and mainly people dying and, and withholding a recommendation for a number of weeks waiting for more information when we have enough to make a recommendation, I think would not be uh, appropriate. Uh, we have thousands of people dying from uh, the infection in many countries uh, of the world daily. And I think anything we can do to, to use a product that might reduce that is totally justified, even if the information is not as complete as we would like. AstraZeneca's COVID vaccine is in the final stages of review for a WHO emergency use listing. The WHO said that it is expected to finalize its review of the shot by mid-February. Keep in mind that the AstraZeneca vaccine is of high importance. It is backed by the United Nations COVAX facility. The COVAX program aims to deploy coronavirus vaccines to people in need around the world, whether in rich or poor countries. They hope to start shipping doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine from later this month. Vyan is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.